All right, I just need to go away for a long time. I can't see anything. You know what? Might as well just AFK at the creeper farm. Not that I can see where it is. Where the heck am I? All right, might as well just AFK at the creeper farm. Um, while I wait for that guy to despawn. Okay, yeah, we need another, we need another go, another attempt at uh, doing it right. We can get it. We can get it done. This is this is easy. I'll be back in a while when he uh, when that guy despawns and we have a new we're getting a new guy. All right, see you guys then. So I realized something bad. He can't go away because he is constantly being aggroed by the um by the trap door. So he's stuck. Let me go try to grab the food I lost because apparently I didn't pick it up. See if it's still here. It's still right here. But yeah, he's he's like perpetually stuck. All right. Um, but I realized that I can build the th the rest of the. Oh my god, dude! God, you can't see anything. Jeez, that is so frustrating. It lasts for so long too, and I just randomly put a. Wait, what? Where did I put my water? It's right there. Okay. Um, but I realized if I build it out of wool, he won't be able to hear me. Hopefully. So, but he will be able to sniff me still. But at least, at least, because you know, when I put a block right next to him, it just immediately finds me. So, I should be able to do this all right if I build it out of wool. And I don't need that much. Of this That's it's more than enough. So, I did this earlier in the, I think, last episode, but <laughs> now, now it's a different, right, here we go, so, um, we need to do this as sneakily as possible and as quickly as possible, that's the other main thing, is that I need to do it fast. Okay, you know what, I'm just gonna drop right down and just start doing it. So what do I need to do? I actually need to think about this logistically. He is in that block. I need to raise the roof by two. So I need to go up one, up one, up one, up one. Okay, I think I get it. Yeah, so I need to go like this. This is the new roof, and then I'm just gonna break, break, break. Um, good. He's in a spot. Right, he's where I swear, it's where, it's where we want him. Okay. We're gonna name tag him. I'm going for it. Get the blocks ready. Name tag. <laughs> He's mad. I gotta go. I gotta go. <laughs> okay, we need to now wait until he is not mad anymore. Because I don't want to go near my shulker or my dolphin with him mad at me. Because he might accidentally shriek on them. Okay, gonna wait until he's not mad, and then... Oh my god, guys, we're like, ready to do it. Okay, actually, let's... Let's go do something else while he's getting unmad. He's not doing anything stupid down there, is he? Hope not. Okay, um, we need... There's a couple things we need. Let's put the wool away. Nope. There. Um, we need a couple things. We've got a total of two attempts in terms of the golden apple, which is less than ideal. Where the heck, what am I looking for right now? I'm looking for this. Okay, that. Got a billion attempts for the pufferfish, but only two attempts for the golden apple. Um, and then let's also... Make a whole shulker box full 
of these. Let's go down to, let's grab some wood, real quick. Okay, let's go down here to the mushroom farm. And let's take mushroom and mushroom. I don't even have a crafting table down here, like anywhere. <laughs> I didn't even realize that. I used to have one just sitting here by where this chest was, but. Um, okay, we're gonna make a bunch of bowls. That's enough bowls right there. We're gonna make sticks, because I don't know what to do with the rest of the wood. We're going to go like this, like this, and like this, and like that. And that will give us a bunch of suspicious stew. We're going to put this all in the shulker box. Mm -hmm. We're going to make more. Bam. We're going to put the rest of it in there. Bam. And we're going to go bam, 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 bam. Oops. Bam, 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 bam. And bam. Okay, now we've got a whole shulker box worth of the blindness things, which is good. Let's put those away. And take this down there. Okay. We're looking good. We're looking very, very good. Um, yeah. I, I realize that we're not even close to actually having it done. Are you still mad at me? No, you're not. Good. Good. Darkness is active here. Very good. That's what we want. Let us... Put the shulker box full of so stew down. And you know what? We'll just put these in here too. There we go. Mm-hmm. Okay. Darkness is active where? Okay, darkness, as long as it's active... Am I gonna... Yes, okay. Good. It's, it's, re, it's redoing itself. Okay, good. We got that stuff in there. Alright, I think we're ready to give our first attempt. So, let's go beat a raid. <laughs> I will see you guys at the village. All right, here we go. So I realized that I need to... Uh, I forgot about the six potions that I need. <laughs> so that's... I'm going to have to do that. Luckily, I'm going to do that before going to the water temple. I was going to go from here to the water temple and then home. But uh, I'm gonna have to go home first. But that's okay because these I think are like 30 minutes, so there's really no timer. Like there's no huge time crunch for this. Also, why isn't this working? Uh oh. I think I know why. I think all of the villagers are dead. Uh oh. <laughs> um. Okay. Let me think. Bad. That's bad. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. Uh, that throws a wrench in the spokes. I guess I have to go to the next nearest village, which I guess I could do through the nether. Because I think I have one marked down in my coordinates. No, I deleted it. Hmm. Hmm. That's... That's interesting. I could go to my village and do it that way. But I'd have to come back here anyway. There's my LA's, by the way. I'd have to come back here anyway to get Bad Omen. So I'd rather just go somewhere near here. And I'm pretty sure I have another portal at like negative 2200 or something. And like pretty much on zero. I'm pretty sure I'm remembering that, that coordinate correctly. Oh, but it's not this far down. Up. Ouch. Where's, where's my portal at? Oh god, just jumped off the edge there. That was scary. Uh, I can't see nothing. Of course, that's a big old wall. I'm pretty sure 
Because it was like the first, it was like the first, the very first, uh, village that I found when I was doing my original walk through the overworld. The big walk. But there's like nothing going on here. Nothing at all. Oh, okay, the whole subsection up here. Maybe we find it, maybe. Hi. Let me alone, please. What am I what am I looking at here? It's about right. It's about where it would be. Hello, there's a broken portal. <laughs> maybe we can just Oh there it is. I can see it. Okay. That was right. Very nice. Very nice, very nice. Okay, so now I go in here. Okay. Right. okay, I go in here, and this is a village, and now I go like this. Oh yeah, this is where I like bred the donkeys and stuff. I don't think this is the first village I found. I think it just... Oops. I don't want to do this at night at all. That's rabbits. Tell me all the villagers here are dead too. There's no shot. My dogs! My cats! Oh my god! <laughs> my pets! Hey guys! <laughs> That's really funny. Yo, Mikester was obliterated by a sonically charged streak. I uh, used glow to find birds earlier because I wanted a bird. Okay. There's no way. There we go. Perfect. Okay. Let's make sure that some of them survive this time, because if none do, then I won't be able to redo this like this. So let's trap one inside somewhere. There's one. Just one in here. Okay, as long as there's one alive, I'm pretty sure you're good. Can you also go in there? Okay, thank you. There. Maybe it has to be two. And just in case it has to be two, I just chop two. Okay. Now, I have to beat this. Then I have to go back to the previous portal. Okay, first of all, I need to find them. Alright, I will uh, montage this because the video's already, we're already over like an hour 10, hour 15. So I'm going to montage this. I'll show you guys me beating each round. So, here we go. Okay, this should be the last round. <clears throat> um, they've only spawned in two places, and I think they just spawned here again, yeah. I want to take out the illusioners first. There's one right there. Oh, God, he moved. There he is. Please, 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 stop moving. Stop moving. Stop moving. Dang it. It's so easy to shoot them all from up here, but this guy's just jumping and running around, man. Bonk, he's dead. Look at them, they're just pushing each other into the fire. Sillies. Dummies. This raid is easy. There's one up here, though. I don't know where I'm hearing that. Bonk, bonk, bonk. Bonk. Bam. Bop. Uh-oh. There they are. Hi. Uh-oh. Let me hop over here. Oh, okay. Well, I can save you. I can save you. Stop. Why did you keep running? Uh, that guy is the guy that I want. Snipe the vexes. Please let me get the guy off his back before he dies. Oh my god, and now he's hiding with the others. Let me go up here then. The vexes are going to come after me, but should be fine. There we go. That guy's dead. This guy's dead. Bam. 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 Boom. Bam. Oh. Get the witch out of here, man. The witch is so annoying. Ugh. Just keeps walking around. That's it. Oh. That's not it. 
There's still one more. There she is. Hi. Not you. Bam. You're dead. Alright, raid complete. So, we kind of are on a little bit of a timer now. Uh, now that we've got so much to do, I mean, we still have to go back and brew the correct potions and everything. So, yeah, let's, uh, let's, let's hurry it up. So, let's go get another bad omen by going to the, uh, other village. So, let's see, we need to go this way, yep. So, I just needed to go over to 1800, right, right over here. Not too far, pretty easy, pretty cool. Um, right here, okay, very nice. Uh, then we need to go home, oh god, no! The portal's gonna break, or it's gonna fly through there. Okay, let's find this fast. Just need one, one banner, dude. Banner? I hardly know her. Okay. Sorry about that joke. I don't, I don't, I don't know who that was for. It's not funny. Okay. No banners. No banners. Seriously. Come on. Banner, 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 banner. I want it fast-ish. Come on. Oh my God. Okay, let me try to. S let me sleep here. Cause I, I can't I can see better during the daytime. Oh, let's sleep here. Bam! Wolf burned to death. <laughs> yeah, I accidentally shot one of my cats during that raid. It's kind of sad, but they're all they're all stuck there anyway. They they mean nothing to me. Okay, give me a banner guy, please. I just need one. It's not that hard. Should spawn with like every wave of guys. Oh God. No. Nobody there is. Okay. Bam, we got bad omen. Okay, now we're going home. Yes, home. To brew six potions. What is it? Night vision, water breathing, slow falling. Oh God, oh God, oh God. Okay. Oh God, that scared me. God, <laughs> I was not. <laughs> that scared me so bad. I I was not ready for that ghast's like scream sound. Like that really scared me. I was like, what is that sound? And then the allay scared me because I wasn't ready for that visual. I was like, there's something sc scaring me right now. There's something spooking me. All right, let's go back. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. We've got the two things. Ouch. Um. Okay. So it's night vision, water breathing, slow falling, invisibility, weakness, and slowness. That's it. I remember them. I remember them. Hey, look, my lay. <laughs> okay. Oh, God. Ow. That hurt. Ow, that also hurt. Okay, don't do that anymore. If you die, you lose the potion effect, so don't do that. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Please. Just get back. Okay, we're almost home. We're gonna pass our. <laughs> There's no reason for me to do that. Okay, that's our water water uh, temple portal down there. We're on the clock, guys. We're on the clock. Okay, go home. Good. Go straight to our to our potion room. Very simple. Very simple. We're gonna grab. We've got them already made down there. We just need to turn them into splash potions. That's uh. What's that? Okay. Drop down. Please drop down. Sploosh. Okay. Uh, we need water breathing. Bam, bam, bam. Night vision. Bam, bam, bam. Uh, slow falling. Bam, bam, bam. Invis. Bam, bam, bam. Okay. Let's get them all going in here. Let's grab that. Go one. Um, invis. Bam, bam, bam. One. Slow falling. Bam, bam, bam. Bam. Uh, night vision. Bam, bam, bam. Bam. Okay. Uh, weakness and slowness. That's, that's the last ones. Okay, very good, very good, very good. Go weakness, weakness like that, and slowness like this. I accidentally mixed them up, but I don't think it matters actually. I forgot that you can do different types. Okay, night vision, bam, water breathing, bam, 
Invis bam. Okay, we're gonna put these all in this chest, I guess. Invis night vision. These look exactly the same. <laughs> uh, water breathing. Weakness. Slowness. Weakness. Oops. Slowness and slow falling. Okay, beautiful. Got them all. Okay. Uh, now we're going to... Yep. We're going to the water temple. Yes, yes, yes. And then we have four minutes. After getting the, the mining fatigue, we have four minutes to get back here and do this correctly. So let's have one round of things on our bar already. Bam, 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 bam. Ready to put onto our bar when we want them. Let me go to the water temple. So four minutes is the hard part. I think this is the hardest, gonna be the hardest part is doing the four minute thing. Um, which one of these is the, f the f lowest? Okay, they're all a minute and a half at least. So that's, that's good at least. Okay, let's go through to down here. That's wrong. Here it is. Okay. Let me remember that route. I'll just use that, actually. Alright. It's probably going to give it to me pretty immediately. Oh god, I need to... Ow. Oh god. Oh, no, 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 no. I need to not get beat up. I need to not get beat up. Hey, now. Okay, this is bad, actually. Eat. Yeah, no. I need to not get beat up. That's like an important part of it, is not getting beat up. Okay. There. <laughs> as long as I have that. Okay. I need to be ready immediately after it gives it to me. I jump in. There we go. Let's go. We got four minutes on the clock, on the clock, on the clock. What if we got it first try? What if we got it first try? It would be amazing if we got it first try. I would love it if we got it first try. Okay, go. We're gonna just fly as fast as possible. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. I just realized something. I just realized something. Guess what? Guess what? We're about to have a rude awakening right now. We're about to go down here. You know what I left? <laughs> I left the freaking blocks here. And guess what I can't do now? Mine! Amazing! Oh my god. I mean, I can still give it a try. Let's see, let's see what we got by the end of this. Huh? Why did it stop? I didn't... <laughs> That's stupid. Okay. We'll probably have a couple minutes left by the end of this. Maybe. Hopefully. Okay, okay, okay. Let's give it a try. I need to take my thorns off. If I got it first try, this would be amazing. But I don't think I'm going to. I think I'm going to run out of mining fatigue here. That <laughs> took forever. Okay. Alright, alright, alright. I, I remember that I have to splash, splash, and then I have to eat the golden apple and the, the puffer fish first. For some reason, eating the blindness... Uh, stew makes it so you can't sprint in the water, so I'm gonna remember that. Oh my god, I let go. Why did I let go? As if it was gonna break the block behind it. I literally let go as if like, oh, once this one breaks, I, I don't want to break the block behind it. Bro, so dumb. So dumb. I am so stupid, dude. Okay, we've got extra time. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. What if we got it first try, guys? What if we got it first try? God, God that would be amazing, guys. That would be amazing, guys. Okay, check it out. What do we got? We got three minutes still. Hold on, you know what? I just remembered that I need to take my, my thorns off. So let me go back up. We've got extra time. We're, we're, we've got time galore. Don't worry about it. Don't worry, you, don't worry your pretty little heads about it. We're, we're on the clock, but we're fine. Okay, give me this. We got that. I don't want the stupid... Here, I'm just going to wear those. Okay. Put armor on because I do want to be protected. Okay, we're going to go bam, 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 bam. Nope, bam. There we go. Then we're gonna come down. I don't have my 
thing on anymore. That's fine. Okay. Chill out. Okay. Uh, we got one. Oh, we need to be hungry. I just remembered. Okay. Bam, bam, and bam. Yeah, I can't eat the puffer fish unless I'm hungry. Okay. I can eat the... Yes. Let me take damage. How do I take damage? How am I going to take damage? God, okay, I have... Only... I need to take damage. Oh, I can breathe underwater. No, please. Give me... Give me damage. Damage. Damage me, please. Something. Smack into the side of the wall. There you go. <laughs> go. No regen. No regen. Smack it. Do it again. Okay, good, 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 good. Okay, no regen. Uh, get that there. Okay, we want to eat this first. Yeah, okay, here we go. Alright, bam, 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 nope, sprint, hit it, and this. Oh my god, first try, first try, first freaking try! <laughs> I can't believe it! I cannot believe it! <laughs> I cannot believe it! <laughs> oh my god, dude. I thought for sure when this thing hit me out and I was floating up that I, I had totally messed it up. And I barely got it because the dolphin's grace barely lasted long enough. I did it though. I freaking did it. First try. We didn't even need all this stuff. What do, what, do, what, do, what, do, what do they think we are? Chumps? We're masters at this game. Destruction. Holy crap, I'm gonna die. Okay. Look at that. Guys, we... Oh my god, we did it. First freaking try. I didn't even need all this. Look at all that stuff that I didn't need. Damn. It's no big thing, man. It's 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 easy. It's too easy for me this game. Guys. 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 That's it. Welcome to the end of the series. <laughs> Holy crap, Bartholomew. I had a great time. The warden, I had a great time. Flippy, Flippy, you're f I'm going to free you, Flippy. Flippy the 4th, you can be free. You can you can roam free, buddy. You did you did great. You did a great job. I'm so proud of you. Oh my freaking god. That's that's amazing. I don't even need all this. I don't even need it. Get it out of here. Bam. Shabang. I can't believe it. That's it's beautiful. Bartholomew, you did great too. Thank you so much. The warden. As much as I want to go say hi to you, you're going to murder me, so I don't think I will. That's it. Guys, and with that, we have completed every achievement in Minecraft in 1.19.2. I am so proud of myself. Mining fatigue is gone, by the way. Uh, we didn't have very much time left on that. The Dolphin's Grace... Lasted for barely, barely enough time uh, once I applied the blindness. If I hadn't, if it hadn't been still applied, then I would have lost it. Because the blindness, I wouldn't have been able to get back inside to get more Dolphin's Grace. Uh, because I was floating on the outside. But I just ate it just in time. It was, I had all the potion, I had the, wow, I had it all. It just went, oh, it all went by so fast. It all went by so fast. So I had, let's recap it. I had jump boost, speed, haste, strength given to me from that. I had hero of the village from beating the raid. I had bad omen from killing another banner guy. I had mining fatigue from the elder guardian at the temple. And then when I came here, I rushed here. I had, let's check it out. Invis, night vision, water breathing, weakness, slowness, and slow falling, all as potions on my bar. 
I walked into the water. When I walked into the water, the warden was close enough to me that he gave me darkness. I was in water, so I had the conduit power from the conduit that we have. There goes Flippy the fourth. Um, I... Yeah, I, I, I had darkness from the warden. I had conduit power from the conduit that we had. Because I'm standing in water, and you have to be standing in water to actually get that replenished. Um, what else? Yep, I splashed myself with night vision, water breathing, invis, weakness, slowness, and slow falling. I ate a pufferfish, which gave me hunger, poison, and nausea. I ate a god apple, which gave me fire resistance, res resistance, regen, and um, absorption. Yep. I then sprinted, and you have to be sprinting in water in order to get Dolphin's Grace. So I sprinted, got Dolphin's Grace, which shot me, and then once I sprinted out of the water, I was in the Wither Rose, which gave me the Wither Effect. I was levitating from the Shulker because he hit me. I clicked my dispenser with the arrows, which gave me glowing, and then I ate my mushroom stew with a Jour Bleuet flower in it, which gave me blindness, and that is every potion effect in the game. That is amazing. Amazing. I have never done it. I will probably never do it again. Because God, is that a lot of work just to get one achievement. The fact that I had to get a warden up here and a shulker from the end. That alone is insane. But I did it. And now, we're done. Let me put some stuff away. Let's get our inventory nice and clean. Before, uh... We do a nice little world tour. We're going to hop into creative mode and just kind of tour the world as we know it, as, we, as we're leaving it here. Everything that we built together and um, are leaving behind. I will toss that on the ground because I don't want to carry it around. Bam. Blocks. All right. Nice, clean inventory. Oh, wait. Let me get these stupid these out of here bam and bam all right nice clean inventory let's hop up to the house and let's start our tour all we have left is bad omen here over the village all right let's hop up to the outside of the house actually let's hop up to the the bedroom and start our tour let's sleep one last time in this world let's uh here's shart shart is here Hello, Shart. Look at those. Those are the only two I've gotten in this session, and I'm very happy with it. I could not be more happy. All right, let's uh, let's do a little dance with Shart before we hop into. There he goes. Look at Shart go. Good boy. And Cluck is here. Shart, can you come out from from behind there? Okay, you know what? You can you can be in the window, so I don't care. All right, here we go. Wait, let's get food. Nice clean inventory, game mode, creative. All right, so let's check it out. Let's check out everything we built. You know, actually, I kind of want to start in the in the nether, cause what just teleport? Is that my bird? No, shirt's still in there. Okay, let's start in the nether because uh, I think that that is we we got some things there that we can go over and I think uh, our world out there is much cooler than our world in the nether. Let's fly over to, so f of course our first thing, actually here, let's go over here first, um, to the village, to our villager hut, the nut hut, that's what I called it, right? I think that's what I called it. Oh god. <laughs> I did not mean to do that. Yeah, the nut hut. Alright, the nut hut did as well. We we it really did help with the uh, uh the enchantments in the beginning. I'm really glad that we did that. We also did some zombie villager uh turning and healing in order to get 
lower trades. Um, this is also where we got the. <laughs> this is also where our freaking trident blew up because it's stupid. Because apparently lightning counts as an explosion. I remember that day. That was that was the worst thing ever. But this is where we got our uh, shock resistor. What is it called? What is it called? Shock surge protector. That's where we got that. Got a lot of things here. We got villagers done here and everything like that. We did this one. We did the dropping one here. We did the honey one here. Star Trader, of course, our Star Trader should actually still be up there. Let's let's go check on him and see if he's just chilling at World Hide up here. <laughs> it's kind of funny. Let's check it out. God, this is such a tall. This is a tall thing. All the way to the top, and there he is, our Star Trader. What's up, buddy? And this is where we drop down all the way to the bottom to get caves and cliffs. But, anyway, so there is our Nut Hut, one of our earlier builds, and a very cool one at that. And that was very helpful as well. Get this guy out of here. Leave my villagers alone. Anyway, um, next, let's head into the nether. Of course, our nether highway is a big one. Um, we had lots of stuff along here. We... What was the main thing that I used this to go to? Not really anything. I just made it go to the ice biome, the, the frozen ocean. So I did use, I think, three times to get packed ice, which is, came in a lot of handy. How oh, you can just eat. <laughs> That's funny. Um, but anyway, to the actual builds in the nether, let's, let's check these out. I never extended the the uh, roadway to the uh, frog light farm <laughs> what are you doing dude you, you trying to use the blaze farm um all right so one of our one of my more my prouder builds i think this is i mean i made it look really nice and everything um the dual blaze farm i think it looks great down here with the glass floor we got furnaces that i didn't use once We've got the awesome uh, automatic ready system and lock system, which I'm really proud of that design, the double crusher that just is the push of one button, automatically crushes all of them. Oh, I, you know, I forgot after the, after the, um, the backup, I had to load the backup. I actually have four tridents. I got two in a row. There was, when I was uh, Nautilus shell hunting, there was one drowned temple that had two trident guys and I killed both of them and both of them dropped one so I actually had four I never spawned in the two that I lost due to the, to the world corrupting and I don't have any reason to but I did have two more unenchanted tridents besides my two main ones but yeah I think it looks nice down here we got the enchanting table of course we use that a lot uh, we've got this just full of blaze rods and everything I have these that I never used it was just for symmetry I think um, but yeah I think it looks really nice. I made this place look really cool. It was super efficient. I loved it. Very easy AFK farm. I loved the lighting system that, that tells you when it's ready. When you have a batch ready. And then this is our, uh, our f nether fortress that we used. And we used a ton of the nether brick from there. But yes. Um, I guess we'll hit up the end. I suppose. We've got a few memories to make there. That, that were made there, I suppose. Let's head to the end. Hop. Okay. Yeah, so we've got our end highway, which I did build legit. I don't think I ever showed you guys. Yeah, I never showed you guys the uh, when I had built it legit. Um, so there was a period of... What the heck is that? Oh, that's one of the... <laughs> That's so funny. Um, there was a period of time where I did have this built, and it was before the world corrupted. So I could have showed you guys, but I never, I never actually came here. Um, but yeah, it was originally like this. Like, that's what it looked like the whole way. Um, that was just a save on ice. It took freaking forever. I hand-placed everything, obviously. I mean, this one I did with commands because I had already done it and I lost it to the world corruption and the backup didn't have it on it yet. So I had to redo it with commands. But yeah, I had to do this, this, uh... 
this rail, this rail, this floor, and then the every other ice all by hand. And that's the reason I put Swift Sneak on my pants was because because uh, it was terrible to do like normally without without Swift Sneak, like doing this. Oh my god. I was originally doing that for like 300 blocks and I was like, wait, Swift Sneak exists. And thank god it does because otherwise I don't know if I would have had the patience to actually do that. All right. Um, yeah. So there's the end. Of course, we've got a bunch of achievements here. Going to the end and getting the... There's the day that we got the the uh, Shulker one where you fly up for 50 blocks. And we were like very... Ha I was very happy that I got that one. It was surprising. I, I wasn't even trying to. And then I got it. I was like, nice. All right. So back home. Now... Oh, I forgot the frog light farm, and we need to go there. That's one of my proudest ones. What am I doing, man? Totally missed that. You know what? Let me see you guys there. All right, here we go. The frog light farm. Now, this was quite the project, and uh, I'm very glad that I did it because it's super fun and just really cool looking. Um, took a long, long time to build, long, long time to get everything I needed for the frogs to be there. Just very, very time intensive build but i'm really happy with how it turned out it is extremely efficient like so so efficient and i didn't use i used ethos model uh ethos labs model um like the same kind of thing with the iron golem in the middle and then the frogs kind of wandering free and then the snow blocks but i really did build the whole thing basically with the idea i just made the idea into my own design and it works perfectly. And then the uh, hopper minecart system down there. Uh, I did it differently than Etho did with the very convoluted <laughs> redstone that I had to put into it in order to make it work right. Um, probably could have done it a different way. But I did it my way. And that's, that's how I like to do things. I like to do them my way. And let me also show you guys something else before we head back home. And that is going to re require me hopping off of the world and going somewhere else because I want to show you guys something else. Um, but yeah, so here it is in all its glory. Absolute destruction. More frog lights than I ever could have needed. I, I never actually even needed them ever. Like, I never used any frog lights. And I totally could have. I could have made an entire base out of frog lights if I wanted. I could have turned my entire seat. That's kind of a cool idea. You know, if I keep the world... I'm going to put the world up for download um, in the description. So if, you get, if anybody watching ever wants to download the world and play on it as it is right here, I'm going to back it up after after uh, signing off here and make, a, and make a copy of the world. So if anybody ever wants to come on and do your own thing here and kind of finish up projects that I didn't never really finished up, you know, I never made... never really made the... Uh, elevator look pretty or anything uh nor did i really finish it i mean i had my idea and i never did it but um and that's actually what i'm going to show you guys here but uh yeah if you ever want to come on you know i i could turn my ceiling into like, my basement ceilings into frog lights i don't know i got a billion frog lights i'm gonna find something to do maybe i'll do it after uh, the series is over you know Maybe I'll hop on every once in a while and, and do something fun. But yeah, so check it out. We got a billion, about a billion frog lights. Like so many frog lights. It's so funny. I love how efficient this farm is. Just really, really, really proud. All right, so let me hop off of the world real quick and go into this world, Redstone. And you guys will see. Oh, I was testing the Striders here. Um, you guys will see probably one of the most complicated redstone contraptions I have ever made in Minecraft. So this is our this is our uh, what do you what do you, uh, elevator? Hello, <laughs> this is our elevator. Basically, what I did um, I didn't finish it at all. I just made the ideas for it, and then I was gonna, you know, I wasn't gonna build the entire thing and then rebuild it in survival. Um, so I just did it here. I just did like the test from the bottom to a second floor, 
and then from the bottom or from a, the second floor down to the bottom and then from like the top floor down i can't remember if i ever actually did anything from the top floor i don't think i did i think i did from the bottom floor to the top floor or something like that so i did a bunch of different tests um but basically each floor from each floor would have had to have a different timing to it which means at each given floor there's four floors to travel to uh, so that means, and there's five different floors, so that's 20 different timings, uh, because four times, five, five floors times four different timings for each floor, um, that I would have had to put into it. Basically, I would have had these giant towers of, uh, observers, and these two go down to the block switcher down here, um, and depending on which one I send the signal to, it'll switch it to either magma over here or soul sand over there. So if I want to go up from a floor, I would have to uh, send a signal to one of these and block switch it to go there. So basically, um, this one, this is the this is the uh, floor selection. Um, so you know I would have had signs saying like plant farm, animal farm, or actually no house, plant farm, animal farm, um, tree farm, things like that. And if I wanted to go to the tree farm, I would turn it that way. And as you can see here, there's a simple, pretty simple uh, comparator system here. So when I have it on number one, it can only go to this. If I have it on number two, it can go that far. If I have it on number three, it can go this far. And if I have it on number four, it goes that far. It goes to an AND gate over here. This is kind of complicated. I had to. Uh, make sure that the because otherwise the 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 signal will go through to all four and that's not what i wanted i needed it to go to only one of each so basically i had to make this piston system so that um when the one after is activated so number one it just goes through number two deactivates number one it pulls the piston up so that the signal can no longer travel and then it puts the and then it keeps the piston down for that so then only one is activated. Even though the power is going to both of these, it can't travel through there. So only the second one is activated. Same for the third. Third one uh, pulls the pistons up on those two, so the signal can't travel through either of them, but can for the third one. And then the fourth one does the same. So then you basically... Um, so I have it on the fourth one right now. I'm pretty sure I have this set. Let me see. Yep, I have that all done, so I should see if I just run through here. It takes a little second. I was going to add like a little ding dong for like an elevator sound. And then it goes up, and you go all the way up. And I think I timed this. I got the timing pretty much perfect so that once you hit the top, I could walk out. And yeah, see, then it was done. So, yep. Very nice. I was gonna do this stuff, but then I just abandoned it. Um, but, as you can see, so that was just from the bottom to the top, and that's very easy. Um, what it's supposed to do, uh, actually I'll just show you guys with the second floor, because the second floor I have done. So that's actually this one, the upwards. So if I run on here, step on there. Um, the second floor, I would just go right through it unless that happened, and so I, uh, yeah, so second floor, I would just go straight through the, uh, thing if I wasn't, um, being careful, but instead the, this piston and dispenser system makes it so that the dispenser activates, takes the water, the piston pushes the block out, and makes a ceiling so that I could step out of the elevator, uh, and then it won't put it won't put the water back. Oh, the water's actually already back. Yeah, uh, that's what it wants. So this activates twice. Basically, it, it takes the water, pushes the block out, waits until you step out, and then it takes the water or it pushes the block, it pulls the block back, block back, and then puts the water back. So then you're out here, and now there's a floor here, which activated because I stepped on this one. Um, this actually is the pressure plate that sent the system, this that sent the signal to out here. Um, why is it on three? Is that what I want it on? 
Nah. Right? Why is why is it on that? Which one is this? Oh, was that to go up to the second floor? Why did I have that? That's interesting. Looks like it. I. I don't really know what I was doing. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, I understand. Anyway. Um, so now let's see what happens if I do this. I don't actually even know what this is set to do. Uh, basically this is going to pull the block back after a second. Chick -chick, and then spit out the water so that the, the stream is full. Oh, and I think this is going to take me to the top floor. Yeah. Oh yeah, and that was perfect timing. Okay, perfect. So then if I stepped here, then the floor would come out like that. But yeah, basically... Um, so now, when I'm on the second floor, this should already be active, uh, meaning that there's going to be a floor. Let me set this to be 1, which would take me down. So now this is the downward function. So yeah, basically every time you step out of the elevator, if it's not floor 1, there's going to be, it's going to push the floor out like that. So now, um, floor 4, no, bottom floor. From, from second floor to bottom floor, that's a different thing. It's going to send a p signal to the magma block instead. Uh, so basically, you guys will see here that it'll take the block, spit the water out, complete the water stream. The block at the bottom changes, and it pulls me down right there. And I walk out, and then it changes back. So yeah, basically, there would have just had to been a bunch of timings, and then also like seven different... Uh, stacks of right here. There would have had to be seven different observer stacks through the whole thing right there because these observer stacks act on the um, the dispenser and piston systems. So there's one for each system basically. Um, and there would have had to be seven of those because I would need a floor for the second floor, a, a ceiling for the second floor, Floor for the third floor, ceiling for the third floor, floor for the floor for the fourth floor, floor ceiling for the fourth floor, and then just a floor for the fifth floor. Yeah, so that's a seven. That's seven total. So I would have had seven of those and these for the block switchers. Um, basically, these are so that I can reach it from any height. So like obviously, I'd have a bunch of different wires up there too. Um, so I could send a signal to this the block switcher at the bottom or any of the given uh, piston and dispenser systems from any height I would have just been able to just break a block there and, and send a pulse in, into there like like I do here um, see so yeah, I connected it in three different places uh, because there's three different timings for the for the soul sand block switcher so that's basically how it worked it's very complicated I liked this system yeah, I thought that was cool and, um, yeah, I could have done it, and then I decided not to, because this would have taken forever. I mean, just the repeat, the, the observers alone was, like, 3,000 cobblestone or something like that. Or, no, I think it was 9,000. I can't remember. I, it was a crazy number. It was, like, it's like several double chests worth of cobblestone, and I was like, that's kind of insane. So, I like it. I might use it sometime in the future, but not now. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, back to the world. I will see you guys there for the final goodbye. All right. Here we are in the house once again. <sighs> Start in the basement. I, uh, I really love these basements. I think, I think they turned out really cool, and I'm glad that I found a purpose for all of them. I thought that I wasn't going to. I was really just doing the three different layers so that it looked nice from the outside, but then I wound up finding a purpose for everything. So of course our storage room, our way to the water elevator, which of course, like we just discussed, I never finished. Um, but this is our bottom floor for it. Also fitting the wiring on it and everything would have just been terrible. I, if I ever want to make it, I need to plan on making it and then leave room for all of the wiring and stuff. Cause I don't know where I would have, would have been able to put the floor selector um wiring and and like on some of them i but like on the animal farm level whoops the animal farm level i just uh 
Like it's just the the water is exactly against the wall of the of the mountain, so it's like it's impossible. I actually want to bring uh one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven the last with me upstairs. Um but yeah. Okay, let's start here. Actually, let's start on the farms. Yeah. Let's uh start in the water elevator. Let's, let's start from the top and go down. And that's why I grabbed this glass, because we're gonna go game mode survival. This always bugged me, and I never fixed it, and because I was originally gonna, you know, my original plan was to, was to, uh, build the freaking elevator system, so I thought this, you know, was gonna have, like, a whole, a whole shebang up here, originally, but then I never did it, so... I, uh, I have no excuse to not make a glass. At least. Because at least glass looks ni nicer than freaking... Yeah, that actually doesn't look that bad. That's all it took. Anyway, tree farm, of course. Um, looks pretty cool, honestly. Why? Oh, I'm not in creative mode. Um, looks pretty cool, honestly. I like it. I think it's a cool place to put it. Uh, way up here at the top of like this, you know, it's not the very top because this is the very top, but it's like the the base, basically the top in that like the whole mountain comes to this. I just love this freaking mountain. Like it's so cool that it's an insanely high sheer cliff face from the water right there, and then it's got a nice little like ledge, like a ridge here, then has another really cool cliff face all the way up to this part where it juts out makes a plateau here and then it doesn't stop there because it's got like these cool little spikes and plateaus and then and a whole another plateau at the top and i like that that we never use this the very top because i think it's cool that this is still wilderness but our our activity is happening on like this the second to last plateau i think that's really cool anyway let's head down to the animal farms these are very nice honestly we didn't use them that much after making them we used them a few times but then i kind of switched to golden carrots and never needed them anymore. but i think they look pretty cool i liked how they were kind of like loose uh form architecture in that they're just kind of scattered all over the place and i just connected them with like fun little little uh little staircases there but yeah very cool let's go down to the plant farms i did i don't know if i've ever shown you guys this but i did come in here at some point and make everything stone so it actually looks very nice um but yeah wheat farm we got down here the melon pumpkin and uh, cocoa bean farm we got up here this one i used a lot uh the the reed farm the sugarcane farm of course and I love that all of them have this cool, same in, in the same style as the basements. We got the cool uh, glass walls that shape. Mmm, that annoys me. Okay. <laughs> there we go. Um, that shape along with the mountain. And like goes. I think that looks really cool. Down here we've got the beetroot farm. A very small one. And up top, we've got the carrot farm. There it is. Bigger one up here. Very cool. Very, very cool. All right. And then, um, I guess that leads us to the basements. Yes, but before the basements, let's go out to the creeper farm. Real quick. Oh, actually, no, this leads us to the house. So yeah, let's let's fly down to the basement or the the creeper farm real quick. This one was a late addition, just last episode, right? Last episode, yeah, last episode, and uh, barely got any use. But we did that very very fun uh, music disc thing earlier in the episode. I still got them all right here. And they all are the extra ones after I put the the rest of them in the chest. But yeah, very cool creeper farm. I copied it, so it's not that special, but um, yeah, very cool. Very cool creeper farm, very efficient. 
Um, it's 17 stacks of gunpowder every hour. So that's pretty crazy. And it actually did do that. So, I mean, I did the math. I, I only waited for about, I AFK'd for about seven minutes and it got me like two stacks or something. So if you, you know, if that was times six or actually more, more like times seven, you'd have about 14 stacks, 15 stacks. It's pretty much, pretty much what it, what it advertised. But let's go to the basements. Now, of course, our basements are pretty cool in that they are all connected with these waterfalls. We kind of use the water, the natural waterfalls to make them. But yeah, storage room. Um, we got the bees in here, which look really cool. Uh, I'm really glad that I added like the tree and the, the flowers in there. I think that looks really cool. The bee farm wound up being one of my like, it just adds such nice color in there. Down to the pet room we've got winston is our only horse in here there he is we've got our oh you know what i totally forgot about something else um let's go check that out oh oh so we got our horse elevator very cool let's do this totally forgot about this bam we got our little gazebo up here with our slime blocks to show what exactly you're wa working with. Drop down here and we've got our nice little waiting room here, our AFK room. Let's see if we can get one to fall. Come on, you got this, guys. Anybody up here? And yeah, there ain't a damn soul. Oh, there he is. <laughs> one little guy. I'm not waiting for him to jump down here. Anyway, wanted to show that off. It works pretty well. After after I was able to light up most of the caves around the area, um, it actually started working really well. It was like a 10-minute AFK, and there'd be like six or seven, sometimes eight, large slimes in there. So that's that's pretty good, honestly. Um, to be honest, it turned out better than I thought it would, seeing as it was the first and only slime farm I've ever made. I just used the Slime Finder... Uh, program online to find which chunks in my world are slime chunks and we got lucky and happened to find a four four chunks together that spawn slimes okay um so that covers that let's go down to we were in the pet level down here oh but yeah we got our, our horse with our hay around We've got our awesome fish tank in the floor, which looks really cool. Got our axolotls, uh, David, Charlotte, Muriel, Georgia, and Ronald Jr. Right? Did I miss anybody? Let's find out. We got Ronald Jr., Charlotte, David, Bradley. I forgot about Bradley. Georgia and Muriel. Muriel. And they're very happy in that little corner, just having the the funnest time they're just having the best time over there we've got our frog farm of course which we put to good use very very good use getting all of our frogs for the frog light farm there they are uh i got our little access point in here which is pretty cool just walk right in there and then down to the third floor of course we've got our potion room which did come in very handy um with the you know, let's take all of these out. How am I going to do this? Because I just duplicated. Okay, wait. Bam. Nope, that's not how that works. Eh, who cares about the the ice blocks? Who cares? Alright, let's put all these away. Weakness potions. Bam. Is that weakness? No, it's slowness. This is weakness. Slowness. Bam. Invis. Bam. Slow falling. Bam. Got night vision bam and water breathing bam very cool all right and uh we got a couple of things in here a couple of neat things we've got the uh i just like to riddle my world with with different redstone contraptions they're, they're just fun for me um we got our mushroom farm down here which did come in handy uh, of course we got most of our mushrooms from the uh the dark forest and that's kind of where i got my main supply but it did come in handy every once in a while there were a couple times where i needed fermented spider eyes and i wouldn't have been able to get them without this mushroom farm so 
of course we've got our nether wart farm which I made a skulk sensor farm just for the heck of it I think it's very cool it's sort of semi automated but of course now I'm gonna have to manually place all this back so let me do that beep, 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 beep. And, um, yep, so it just washes all of the nether wart into the, the hoppers. I've, I thought it was fun to make skulk sensor, uh, redstone contraptions. I'm sure I'll, I'll, I was, I was kind of, kind of like grasping at straws, trying, like, trying to add, a sk like, skulk contraptions, because, redstone contraptions, because I was like, oh, I want to add something with skulk, and I thought I was going to do the elevator with skulk, and then I realized I didn't need skulk. So then I was like, well, what am I going to do with Skulk? And so I was just kind of randomly adding things. I'm sure I'll find in the future more practical ways to use Skulk, like things, better things. Like, you know, you can do secret entrances with them and things like that. But there's probably other, many, many other applications that I could use. But of course, the other Skulk contraption that we have is our little top floor to bottom floor drop right here or if you step on this you can drop through and that is it for the basements I guess we're going to end it off where we started today our beautiful house um, and then we'll take a look from the outside but yeah here's our little dining room our kitchen beautiful We've got the wonderful porch outside. Very, very cool. Little places to sit and everything. Hemorrhoid is here. Let me give hemorrhoid pets like I did at the beginning of the episode. And Charles, you get some pets too. Even though I barely know you. I don't. I abandoned you in the nether for a reason. Um, here's our enchanting table, our very first one. Very cool. Our little computer room. Never even saw this place <laughs> you know, it's just filler filler stuff um our tv room of course playing donkey kong on the tv we got cluck and shart in here where's cluck actually cluck where are you are you on the roof we got our balcony overlooking the creeper farm and the ocean yeah cluck's up, up on the top all right whatever cluck you can you can you can do whatever you want we got like w w ways to look out the side, which I think is pretty cool. Oh, Cluck came back inside. Okay, Cluck loves us. Very good. All right, and then at the very top, we've got the treasure room. You can see out, although we're inside the clouds. But yeah, you can see out, outside, which looks pretty cool if you ask me. Just love this house. So now let's take a look at it from the outside, and that is how we will end the episode. Let's just take a little fly on the outside. The house looks really cool. I like the supports. Um, the basement underneath looks pretty sick with the glass and it being dark and everything. I just realized that I totally messed this up at some point. So I'll just do that and then replace it. But yeah, um, everything looks really cool from out here. I just realized that this got covered with vines. So you can't even see it very well. Um, I thought it would be cool to have that on the wall there. Um, but yeah, so here it is. So honestly, I, oh, there's my mind down there. I kind of glossed over, I totally forgot about that. Um, I honestly wasn't feeling that proud about, like, my building in this world until, like, I don't know, a couple weeks ago when I kind of just flew out here and kind of took a look at it. And I think this looks freaking sick. Like, I love the different color of the farms i think that looks so cool in the side of the mountain i love that they're very uniform and the way that i space them is kind of perfect how it's like two there two there and then two in the middle but they're offset from one another i think it looks great um yeah i'm just really proud of like how that looks and then we've got of course the farm layers here which are pretty cool uh on top of that and then of course we've got the three basement layers which all look pretty cool from afar and i think it looks best when it is night so i'm gonna do this bam yeah i think everything looks so much cooler at night we've got the horse elevator over there 
the three basement level levels, the house, of course, the farms are glowing because they're lit up, and then the animal farms right there, and the tree farm up top. I just think it looks so cool. I love this world. I'm so glad that we found this place to live because it's like, honestly, I, it turned out, this world turned out to be one of my favorite worlds. Like, my builds on here, this is one of my favorite worlds that I've ever had in Minecraft. I, I just, like, this, getting this landscape alone is just crazy. Like, the deep dark and lush cave together, uh, just these gaping caves in the side of this awesome, amazing cliff face with all the different layers like I was going over earlier. I'm probably going to move this, uh, this, this beacon inside so I can have access to it through all of that. But yeah, oh, I guess now we can say hi to the warden. Um, there's Black Dolomew, of course, but then the warden is in here. There he is. What's up, buddy? The warden, period. <laughs> um, yeah, he's just distracted with that, that trap door. But yeah, so that's, that's it. Wow. And with that, we've got like a two and a half hour episode, but that's a, that's a special for you. This is the final episode, so there you go. Uh, like I said earlier, the world file will be up for download. I'm probably just going to move that and then put myself in survival mode in the house somewhere. And then I will log off and back up the world like that. And that is the world file I will put up for download on in the description. Just in case anybody wants to download and come check out the world themselves. And uh, and also, you know, build build your own things in here and finish... You know, the nether highway is a big thing that I could have finished, made made look much nicer. I could have made the end farm like I said I was going to. I could have made my my uh, water elevator much nicer. There's a few things that I could have done, but we've hit the end of the advancements, the achievements, so that is that was the goal for the uh, for the game. So there's nothing really else that we can do. Um, I'm not going to stick around and have a bunch of episodes after finishing the last achievement because that would feel anticlimactic. Um, so yeah, we have hit the we've hit the end, and that is it. So yeah, you can check out the um, world in the description if you'd like. And uh, yeah, I don't know. Should this be the thumbnail? I kind of like it. It's like kind of a spoiler. <laughs> because like, I haven't built any of this stuff. I'm posting the first episode of this, by the way, tomorrow. Uh, yeah, today's Sunday. I'm posting it tomorrow. So, um, it's pretty cool. I'm wrapping it up now. And uh, the first episode of it is going to come out tomorrow. I feel like this, like to put it like this, for this to be the thumbnail, is kind of like a spoiler. Because like, I haven't built any of it yet, but it is a really cool thumbnail. I've got the side. Oh man, I kind of I kind of like it. Um, and it is kind of neat because like then you get to see the development of all of these different things like over the different episodes. I think that's actually kind of cool. I think right there is gonna be the thumbnail. Did I take it? Yes, I did. All right, that's gonna be the thumbnail. Very cool. It's kind of like a full circle moment because it's going to be the thumbnail of the first episode, but you guys are going to see me take it in the last episode, which <laughs> which is pretty pretty funny. But yeah, I've really enjoyed this world. I've really enjoyed making the series. I'm really happy that we got all of the achievements done. Of course, that was the goal, and we actually did it. I originally wasn't planning on doing the hidden achievements, but then we did, and that was crazy because all of the work that had to go into doing that final one was just crazy, but super rewarding, and I'm just very happy that we've done it. Never done it before in Minecraft. Probably never will ever again. Um, but that's it. So thank you guys so much for watching this episode of the series. Thank you so much for watching the entire series. I hope you've all enjoyed it as much as I have making it for you guys. And uh, as much as it hurts to say goodbye to the world, that is what I'm going to do. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you've all enjoyed. And until the next series, goodbye.